Celebrity chef and television personality Anthony Bourdain is dead at the age of 61. He was working on an upcoming episode of his show Parts Unknown in France when he was found unresponsive in his hotel room. His first book catapulted him to fame in 2000. He went on to host shows on the Travel Channel and Food Network before landing at CNN in 2013. He was known for not only exploring the food of regions across the world, but also the human condition and what connects us all. We ask very simple questions. What, what makes you happy? What do you eat? What do you like to cook? And everywhere in the world we go and ask these very simple questions. Uh, we tend to get some really astonishing answers. Bourdain's death comes just days after fashion designer Kate Spade died of suicide at her Manhattan apartment. Rescue efforts suspended right now after a deadly volcanic eruption in Guatemala. The National Disaster Agent says conditions are too dangerous for rescuers. Meanwhile, families there are starting to bury recovered bodies. Other victims, including six children, are in Texas being treated for life-threatening burns. The death toll from Sunday's eruption is more than 100 right now, but keeps rising. Hundreds of others are still missing. Now, meanwhile, Hawaii's Kalawayu volcano continues to threaten the island. Lava is still flowing while the volcano shows no signs of stopping. So far, more than 6,000 homes have been destroyed. The volcano started to erupt in the beginning of May. When people think of bullfights, most think of Spain, right? But there was a unique kind of cattle battle in California this week. Bulls in a neighborhood fighting in the middle of the street. Yeah, really crazy stuff right there. Now their owner says the pair was jousting and busted through his fence, easily snapping the chain. As you see there, police closed the roads while the pair chased each other down the street. But locals say this isn't the first time they've escaped. We see them up on the hill all the time. They're in our backyard sometimes right, on, right next to the fence. So it's, it's really nice actually. The rancher is being fined $100 per animal for failure to control livestock and has to pay for the damages. Now I have a joke for you. Why did the duck cross the road? Well, in this case, it was to get to a river, but when the road is busy, ducklings can have a tough time waddling across. That's why it's good to have someone like that, a good police officer around who can stop traffic. Officers in Wisconsin provided that much needed help yesterday. The city's humane officer also has a tip for residents who find ducklings in distress. Their depth perception doesn't seem that good, so they just fall into areas and mom's usually hanging around. Um, so that's another thing is if you get them, let's say in a window well and you don't see mom, release them right near where they were found because mom is around, she is watching. Yeah, mama doesn't play. So they also say it's best to steer ducklings in the right direction without touching them. The 72nd annual Tony Awards are right around the corner and Broadway is getting ready. Tony Award nominees Josh Groban and Sarah Bareilles are sharing hosting duties. The musical SpongeBob SquarePants is tied for the most nominations with Tina Fey's Mean Girls, which is based on the 2004 hit movie. Bruce Springsteen will also perform and receive a special Tony for his ongoing Springsteen on Broadway concerts. And the tragedy in Parkland, Florida, will take center stage for an emotional moment. It really represents how much the arts can heal a community, how much theater can heal, and what heroes these teachers are. Melody Hersfeld, the drama teacher from Stoneman Douglas High School, will receive the Excellence in Theater Education Award. The Tony Awards air Sunday night at 8 p.m. right here on WTOL 11. Now it's almost a weekend and our weather team is tracking some showers and storms, so just stick with us through the break for Ellen's full first alert forecast.